Good morning ladies and gents, Gescax here, finally getting some time to do a bit of recording. Hang on, that's really loud. There we go. Um, it's been ages since I've been able to do any recording of random stuff. I've done a bit of oblivion recently, but just work has been insane. And everything else, work and private tuition and all sorts of stuff, it's just, it's just no spare time. But anyway, we're finally getting down to the point of recording something, and I've chosen another random PS2 one. It's another of the weird ones, and it'll probably be cack. It's Peter Pan, the Legend of Neverland, or something like that. There we go, the Legend of Neverland. I'm just looking at the box. This is being played, here we go, on a PS3. It is the PS2 disc in a PS3, so fingers crossed we won't have any emulator issues. There we go, Legend of Neverland. Now, I've got to be honest, I'm not overly familiar with Peter Pan. I mean, I know of the, the kind of the basics, I know who the characters are and like the rough storyline, but I've never like fully read the, the J.M. Barry book. I think I saw the Disney version like many years ago, but a lot of this is kind of new to me. I know there's like Wendy and Peter and Tinkerbell. The very cute Tinkerbell, but I can't remember who's the other one. Wendy, Peter, and someone else, and Captain Hook, and the the Clockadile, and all that sort of thing. So I know vaguely bits, but as I've never actually fully read the the J. M. Barry book, which I probably should have done. But anyway, when I was a kid, Tinky Bell. So I've no idea what type of game this is. A new game. Look at her; she's so cute, and she zips around as well. Movie clips. Oh wow! I wonder if that's clips from the Disney film, and options. We can have a look in Tinkerbell, have a have a closer look at Tinkerbell's chest. <laughs> right, new game. So we've got... What's the other one? Here we go. It's discovered the island's magical secret and plots to rid Neverland of its enchanting pixie dust. This Captain Hook, by the way. Um, This spells danger for Peter Pan in this all-new action adventure, exclusive to PS2. Oh, it's an exclusive. Interesting. Okay, so we, anyway, we'll see how it plays. But looking at the back of the box, it's hard to tell whether it's... It looks like it's one of those where you just go forward in a straight line attacking stuff as you come across it, sort of Crash Bandicoot style, but I don't know, it might not be. Okay, he looks like someone, an extra from Monkey Island. He's like pointing. It's like he's posing as well, and he's, his other arm is in that kind of, like, fencing pose. But he doesn't look like a fencer. Has he got a hat on, or is the top of his head just not there? I don't know, rather weird. I like his three-quarter length as well, very trendy. Oh! So really hoping we don't Peter Pan making a fool of me. Every one of my beautiful schemes ruined. <laughs> oh, there, there, Captain. Not to worry. <laughs> What's this? Another lost boy prank? Messages in bottles, more silly games. <laughs> Mr. Smee! Look! <laughs> what is it, Captain? It's a map, Smee. No, no, it's not a map. It's the map. Uh, the map, Captain? The map of what? A piece of the legendary map, Smee. A treasure map to the lost riches of Skull Rock. But, Captain, that's just a pirate's tale. Why, my own mother told me that tale when I was just a nipper. She used to sit me down and say, Oh, shut up, you blithering blockhead, and get me back to my ship! We must find the rest of this blasted map. B -b 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 Captain! What now, Smee? P -p -p Peter P Pan! He will spoil our plan for sure. Why don't we just set sail to sea, see? Forget about Peter Pan and the treasure. We'll be a lot happier, <laughs> and a lot healthier. Cursed boy! If only I had finished him off when I had the chance. Blast! I wonder... Is there a way we could keep him busy while we search the island? It's just so difficult, Captain, flying around all over the place with that pixie dust and all. Swag on the eyes, that's it! We've got pansy times, me! Pixie dust, of course! If we catch that little Tinkerbell and steal her pixie dust, then there will be no magic left in Neverland for Peter to fly. Uh, but, Captain, surely we can't catch a poor little fairy. It's just not good form. Good form? I'll give you good form! Now stop your blithering and get the crew together. Send half of the men to search the island. Make sure they catch Tinkerbell and bring her to me. We will steal her pixie dust and hide it where Peter Pan will never find it. 
Now you and I will take the rest of the crew and pay a visit to Hangman's Tree. Come on, Smee! No time to waste! Row for the ship! All right, sir! Well, that was quite a long intro clip. I wasn't really following it, to be honest. I was looking in the manual. There's quite a lot of controls here. You can actually fly. Oh. Please? <laughs> okay, Danny. We need a little of Tink's pixie dust first. Tink! Well, where are you, Tink? Where's she gone to now? Peter! Are you okay? I feel strange. Something's wrong. I can't fly. Oh, no. Tink's in trouble. I have to help her. Oh, Peter, let us come with you, please. No way. I promised Wendy that I'd keep you out of trouble. Oh, I'm sure Mother wouldn't mind. We promise to be good, don't we, Danny? We promise, Peter. Please. Oh, okay. Come on, let's go. Interesting, okay. Yeah, there's quite a few... Quite a few different controls in here, by the looks of it, so we shall see how we go. There's sneak mode and all sorts. It seems I've stolen all of your pixie dust. Poor Tink! Let's see your precious Peter Pan stop me this time. To hangman's tree, Mr. Smee! Did he, did he just squash Tink a bit? No, she's fine. I thought he'd have put her in a bottle or something. Tink? Are you okay? Oh, Peter, look! Her light is fading! No wonder I feel strange. We need to find some pixie dust fast. But Peter, Hook has taken it off. Okay, let's split up. You go that way, I'll go this way. Be careful, Peter. Don't worry, Tink. We'll get all the pixie dust back. Okay, do we actually finally get to do something? That's quite a long intro. We're like seven minutes in. There we go. No. Sebastian. I see it. It's one of the missing pixie dust jars. Do I do I get to do anything or is he gonna just go around and collect everything? I'm opening it. Wow. Feeling better, Tink? So we've showered Tinkerbell in pixie dust, and it's made her a little bit better. But we need to right, okay. Let's do. Let me do something, and then it, it's we need to presumably repeat repeat the process numerous times. Yeah, there's quite a few controls in this. Jump, double jump, and glide. Dash, collect rock, and fire catapult is on circle. Throw dagger is on. Okay, we've got daggers apparently. Is on square. Triangle doesn't do anything, which is odd. But anyway, and we can sheath and unsheath the dagger with um, R1, and we can charge Tinkerbell. Fair enough. Okay. Just let me do something. Okay. Oh, it is. It's one of these. Hang on. No, I haven't got any sneak mode at the moment. Okay, I am literally just collecting... Way! <laughs> it's quite sensitive. Huh. Is there any point to being up here? Hang on. Uh, huh. Oh, okay. So I'm just... Is he seriously... Get... What? Huh. Ah! I, I mean, I kind of like the fact that it can do that. Oh, hello. I see more up here. I nearly, I nearly missed them. Way. There's secret bonus parts to the levels. Look at him. Look at him. Ultimate blocker. Have I got a health bar? I also feel like I'm missing stuff. Huh. Nice. Actually managed to get it. The controls are a little bit squiff, but I've known worse. Oh, is that enough to... You don't have to tell me how to jump, Tink. I can fly, you know. Why is Tinker not talking? Does she not talk? So I can't fly at the moment. But we'll soon fix that once we found all the missing pixie dust jars. All the missing pixie dust jars. I remember when I was at uni, my well, girlfriend at the time, Claire, dressed as Tinkerbell for a fancy dress party. She looked quite nice actually. Anyway, that's irrelevant. Um I mean surprisingly nice. You wouldn't sort of think Tinkerbell would be a What's that racket? Oh running through grass, okay. I presumably Falling down a pit is death. Oh, another jar. Sweet. So we got a full bar and we've got five jars. I mean, is that... Uh oh more crabs. I thought I was going to slide down there. I did. I actually managed to get that last one inadvertently. Nice. There we go. Now, is there any point to this? Oh, oh. I did a little glide. 
<laughs> you see how he just pops through the wall then? Is there nothing up there? Okay. Whoop. They take too long to kind of wake up. That's the, well, not too long. I mean, obviously we need to get over them, but I mean, to to make them a real obstacle. Oh, another jar. This is three times, and I've got like five, five lots of, of jars on there. But huh. the camera's not the most helpful. Ah, now what's this weird explosion thing? Oh, is that just is that a checkpoint? I would love to be able to see what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Oh, can I get up on there? Oh, I have a double jump. They said in the manual you don't, you don't have a double jump at the beginning of the game. They lied. Unless Tinkerbell's going to actually get kidnapped properly. Oh, I missed one. I don't think you need to get them all. Oh, Parrot. Sort of. Look at him. He's going mad. Oh, I'm going to go try and grab him. What was, the, what was that Parrot called in Aladdin? Ah, oh, I forgot what he's called. I know, obviously, the monkey. Zabu. What's this? Oh, it's a switch. I did think it was a trap. <gasps> There's Hook. That's the end of the game. We're going to have our showdown with Hook and that'll be it. No, it isn't Hook, actually. What is this? I did notice that there's a weird purple jar that I want over there. Hang on. Oh. How do you... Oh, like that, okay. Oh, and then you can dodge, you can hop about. <laughs> oh, I see, that's cool. I want this thing. There we go. Nice. I didn't think it was actually going to let me at first, but it is. Nice. Okay, now what? Do I just... Okay, continue. So there's going to be fighting for now. Oh, I wonder if I could have fought those crabs. Oh, look at him. We have pirates. Pirates ahoy. It's like... Oh. I can't go into stealth mode yet. Oh, you see me. How do you... No. No! Didn't mean to do that. I mean... It's quite harsh in the sense that, like... This boy's just stabbed to death this old man. Did I actually get the coin? It seemed to disappear. Is he dead? Oh, he's not dead. He's just, he's just KO'd. He's just having a nap. Can I beat these crabs? No, I have to, I have to jump over them. Uh-oh. I'm not seeing where my life bar is. But anyway, there's a definite sense of... Um, nice. Another one of them. There's a Oh, hello. Nice. Another one, Pixie Jar. How has she not got enough Pixie de dust, dust yet? Yeah, there's a definite, a definite sense of button bashing in this. It's a very colourful environment. I do quite like that. I want it. I think I got it. I, again, not 100% sure. There was no sound to denote having got it. Ah, huh. oh, you gimp. Oh, oh, I see. I, I, I see the, the jars disappear as I take damage. Ow, oh, you turd. Oh, I'm going here. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, they're a bit like, um... Oh, oh, oh. Did I get a key? Treasure! Yeah, I definitely got that one. Okay, 50 times treasure. I don't know if you have to spend it or whether you can choose to... Come on! Oh, you turd. Nice! Oh, I got one back again from him. Look at that! Terrible waterfall! It looks almost like hair, anyway. I've forgotten entirely what the, these weird bubble things are doing that I'm collecting. Imagine spending 40 quid on this. What is that thing going up and down? I kind of want it, I think. Is it treasure? A gate is opening! Oh, there's a, there's a cauldron in there. Okay, this has all got a bit... I don't know, are these supposed to be the natives? Do I get a key? I did get a key. Yeah, uh, you do get it, I think. Oh, that's the gate. I wonder what that spiky thing was. That was the gate. Yay! I made it. Sandy Shores level complete. Yeah, he's got a very Crash Bandicoot-y feel about it. Nice. 100 out of 100. Oh, I missed one. I think... Oh, there was a map. I didn't even notice there was a map. 111! Oh, I missed a few Wampa Fruits. 
Yeah. Have I got a memory card in there? Yeah, I have. Okay, a lot of it just auto saves whether you want it to or not. Okay, fine. We'll have a crack at the second one, then we'll probably leave it there after that. Gives you an idea of what the game's like. Yeah, so imagine spending 40 quid on this. Pirate Peril. Sounds good. The combat, I don't know, I'm wondering, I know we've got a dodge, but I'm wondering if there is a better way of, of fighting in this. What is that? Is that one of the kids dressed up as a fox? For some inexplicable reason. Again, there's probably purposes behind this, I've just not read the books. I am an ignoramus when it comes to the source material, sadly. Yeah, it was weird. It definitely says in the book, Peter, at the start of the game, Peter can only jump once and cannot glide. And yet I was doing double jumps and gliding, so I don't know what's going on there. To get the maximum height possible, Peter must start the second jump at the very top of the first jump. Obvs. Double jumps is one of those ludicrous things in games, isn't it? Where it's like, how does it make any sense? Like, you're kind of jumping off thin air, but it's just one of those things that's just accepted. Oh, another pirate. I forgot what the thing is. What should we hop about? I want to get a dodge in. Nice! Yeah, nice! Actually got a successful dodge. Do we get some treasure? I think our health's refilled. I like the way they make it kid-friendly by being like, even though I've been stabbing this guy to death, he's like... He's not dead, he's just, he's just a bit... He's just having a sleep. He's just unconscious. Hang on a minute! This is exactly the same as the one we just did! Oh no, I, I tried to dodge that. Tried to get behind them, a la Dark Souls. Yeah! It did look like there was a way up here. Whoa! Okay, I think that, that might be out of bounds, just around that corner. Let's not do that. More crabole. Uh oh, he's gonna... Ha! Oh no! You what? Oh god, he got me twice. Hitbox? Dark Souls 2 hitboxes. I, I like the soundtrack and the, the ambient music is quite cool. Did I not see a... No. So that. Howler Monkeys or something. I like Howler Monkeys. It's like their name says exactly what they... Hey, do! I very nearly ran down that pit. Are they bubbles? I'm not even totally sure what they're supposed to be. Is there a dude hiding behind that rock? Uh oh. I see him, but he can't see us yet. How are we gonna get past? What do you mean I could never hit him with my dagger? <laughs> That's easy. Watch. <laughs> oh, okay. Got him. Told ya. Easy peasy. Have I got unlimited daggers? Sleep tight, you scurvy dog. Yeah, scurvy dog, I like that. Yeah, have I got a limit? Uh oh, have I got a limited daggers? I like the way again, he's just been hit with a dagger and he's obviously just like, that's fine, it must be the wind. How do I. Oh, he is dead, and I have got unlimited daggers! I wasn't entirely sure I could go in here. It does look this this sort of texture and colour that you get on the, that green. That normally means like toxic waste. If you ever play things like Doom. Uh oh. Do you wanna? Oh no, he blocked it. No, I tried to. Ah! Oh. Don't you get me again? They always get me at least once, <clears throat> which means I'm always like, oh hello, there's a snake over there. Oh. No, no you don't. Can I hit that snake? Hit him! Oh, you've only got one. Oh, and Tinkerbell goes and, get <clears throat> goes and gets it for you. Seriously? Oh! He's such a turd. I just have to avoid them, I think. Oh, you freaking don't. I don't like them. They're quite hard to dodge, those things. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I want one more jar. Look at that. Poor Krabby. Whoa! That does not look good. I like the kind of Incan style statue things as well that we got in the background. I like it. It's got a good got a mix of cultures going on here. Do you want to... No, just, just wallop him. Because he's going to get up again. No! No! You turd! 
So what's the point in hitting him with daggers if he just gets up again a like, few seconds later? Huh. Yeah. Oh, it's a normal pixie jar. Damn it. I want another one of the green ones because I got... Nope. Because I got... Nope. Because I got stuck behind some scenery. Get up there, you turd. There we go. Nope. Oh, it's not under these bloody snake things. Look at him. There's no way I'm getting that jar, is there? What's this noise? Oh, there's a beehive. I probably don't want to... Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Okay, the jungle's becoming more of a more dangerous... Look at this! Becoming slightly more of a dangerous place. What's this thing? How do you get up there? Don't be a... Don't be a dick! Get off! Right. Okay. What's this thing? Oh, this one of those levers, isn't it? It's open! Oh, another piece of the... Oh, it's a piece of the map! That's what he's saying. It's hard to hear when he's, like, going off on his... No, that looks like death. When he's going off on his terrible Disney American accent. Yeah! Oh, I saw a save point. I nearly went screaming past it. Yeah. At least I assume that is a, a save point. I don't actually know that for certain. I should have looked in the manual. Nope. you got bees and snakes and all sorts. There's not just crabs, you know. Uh, well, this one looks better, but I mean, we can go back and get the other one anyway, can't we? Can't we? Yeah. Nope. There we go. Nice. Huh. Look at that. I hear parrots or toucans or something. I can't get that one. Never mind. There's only one. I see there's two. Oh, hang on. Nearly. Pixie jar. Are there ten on each level then? Is that how it works? I don't know where it is, but I can hear it. Uh oh, behind me. Keep going. Okay, they only follow you from a, for a certain distance. I wasn't even. Uh oh, trying to get. Do I open it? I wasn't even trying to um, to get their honey or anything. Look at that! I got crowned inexplicably. Oh, he blocked it. Okay. Come on, draw your sword, you turd. Nice! We're finally up to full health again, sweet! And the, I don't know if the purple jar's better than the other one. I mean, it implies it is, because it's purple. Purple's always good in video games. And it's weird, they say when you when you knock them out, knock them out in inverted commas, when you stab them in the face until they get a hem knocked out, they don't seem to get back up again, but when you just throw daggers at them, pee off, mate. Go away! What's your problem? Then they, um... Yeah, the daggers don't seem to really do much. There we go. Woohoo! Made another done, made another level. Done another level. Pirate peril level complete. So they do get a bit more difficult, obviously. Different enemies and stuff. Damn it! I missed one. Really? Yeah. I had no way I got anywhere near that. Yeah, missed 20 of the bastards. Okay, never mind, never mind. Autosaving. You don't need to autosave, there's no need for it. Right, I think we're going to leave that there for the moment. I feel like playing a bit of Oblivion. And we're at a very, very key moment as well in that, so I can leave that there for the moment. But anyway, that gives you an idea of what this is like. Calling all lost boys, it says on the back. Peter Pan, the legend of Neverland. At the end, apparently, there's some big dramatic duel with, um... Pink, where is everyone? Hook. Something's wrong. The tree is never this quiet. Listen, what's that noise? Peter, it's you! Oh, you should have been here, it's just awful! What was awful, Toodles? Where is everyone? Pirates! We were just playing in the tree when a bunch of pirates burst in and attacked us. I hid under my bed. They took all the other lost boys. And I don't know where they are. It's okay, Toodles. Don't cry. You're safe now. Did the pirates say where they were taking the boys? No, I didn't see anything. I was too afraid. Now I remember. One of those big fat pirates said something about finding pieces of a treasure map for Captain Hook. A treasure map? Hook. What's going on, Peter? 
Hook has stolen all of Tink's pixie dust, and his pirates have captured all of our friends. I bet it's all part of one of his evil schemes, and he's just trying to keep us out of the way while he looks for this treasure map. Well, it's time we put a stop to Captain Hook once and for all! What are we gonna do, Peetle? I have to rescue the Lost Boys and find the pieces of this treasure map before Hook does. Toodles, I need you to wait here in case Jane and Danny return. Come on, Tank, let's go. Hmm, we'll never catch the pirates on foot and we don't have enough pixie dust for me to fly. <gasps> Can't you fly anymore, Peetle? Don't worry, Toodles, I'm fine. We'll get the pixie dust back, you'll see. Tank, that's brilliant! If I follow your pixie dust trail, I might be able to fly. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Follow those pirates! Goodbye, Peter. Goodbye! That kid has the most annoying voice in the universe. Anyway, I know that we've got a flying mission, obviously, coming up here. Mission, flying mission. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave it there for the moment, because that's coming on for half an hour, and this game... Yeah, following the leader. And so I suppose you've got to fly behind Tinkerbell and grab the pixie dust that she drops, and then if you miss it, you plummet to your death, and Peter smashes his head open and all the kids cry, or something like that. So anyway, we're going to leave it there. So thank you very much for watching this part. Take care of yourselves, and I shall see you again very soon.